Okay, let's look at three more bands. So we're gonna be looking at Knut, Caius, and Worm Ouroboros. Again, a mix of three very different bands. So Knut are a band from Switzerland, and they're kind of put in the sludge rock, uh, math core, heavy post rock uh, category. And their first album was called Bastardizer. The second one's called Challenger. Those ones might be a little bit more respected than the ones I'm about to look at now. But um, kind of forgot about these guys. And I put all three of the albums I own by them in the CD player right now, and I'm listening to some of them. So this is the third full-length album, Terraformer. You can't mistake the uh, Aaron Turner artwork. It could only be him. This is the one I got on right now. Digging it so far. I don't keep up with new bands like this, but there's, you know, the classics in my collection and some unearthed classics for me that uh, I'll always be happy to look at. This was a uh, remix album called Alter. Not the kind of thing I really play or listen to anymore. I used to just be a sucker for collecting anything Hydrahead. I haven't put this on lately. This was the band's final album, Wonder. It's uh, not quite as heavy, it's a little bit more psychedelic, um, a little more ambient. I remember this one being my favorite. And again, I'll be listening to these today. And the band has uh, since split up. Okay, now we're gonna talk about a big name, Caius, who are, uh, what do you wanna call them, desert rock band, stoner rock band, just a straight up rock band. They were from Arizona, and the first album was called Wretch, and eight out of 10 CD, but for whatever reason, nothing I've decided to slap down the money for. But next up, you got the classic album, Blues for the Red Sun, Green Machine, one of the best rock and roll songs you can find. Um, this album's a 10 out of 10 though. Very respected album. Everyone likes this one. And Caius is a band that uh, I think everyone can get into if you like rock music. Like people, even people who don't know how respected Caius are, when they hear the ears kind of perk up and they're like, what's this? Um, my wife likes them and she doesn't really care that much about rock music. So, um, classic album. But just as many people will tell you that Sky Valley is their best. I don't know if all versions are like this. I, I think at least the early ones are. This is split into three long songs with groupings of three, three, and four songs in one you know, so it's four songs on the CD, each with a bunch of songs grouped together, which isn't the most convenient, but the way they wanted to do it. Another 10 out of 10, right? And the circus leaves town. I'm just gonna give this an eight out of 10. Great CD. But I would say by far the worst. Caius broke up after this, and they've gone on to do a million projects. The most, uh, I guess the most high-profile band that spun off of that would be Queens of the Stone Age. I'm only into their first album, to be honest. That's the only thing I like by them. I've tried a couple times. It's just not for me. But, uh, yeah, Caius, uh, a million things have been said about them, so I can just leave it at that. A lesser-known band that uh, I've always been a sucker for is Worm Ouroboros. They were from San Francisco and they have released three albums. All the musicians in this band have done many other projects. This was the self-titled album and my personal favorite. I like this album cover. I don't even know what to describe this as. I can't describe it as ambient. I can't describe it as 
metal, can't describe it as rock, can't describe it as soft rock. It's maybe you want to say ambient music with female vocals, but this is guitar, bass, and drums music. Aesop Decker from Ludacra and many other uh, bands is in here. And this album is 9.5 out of 10. Come the Thaw came after this one. Another beautiful album cover. Another nice package. All three of these albums are going to be uh, released on Profound Low Records. I don't have much differentiation, sorry, differentiation between all three of those off the top of my head, but the first one was has always been my personal favorite. But this one just it just feels just as good though. Same kind of thing. Very listenable. I can sometimes put these albums on for just put on for ten times in a row and it's on in the background and I just I never get tired of them. This is the most recent album. What Graceless Dawn. Such nice CDs, right? Don't have a lot to say about them. Never seen them live. Haven't seen a lot of articles or interviews on the band. But beautiful music. And please take a look. Thank you. Bye.